my professor first started the class off with asking everyone, um, how many of you by a show of hands are 100% Native Americans? To nobody's surprise, nobody raised their hands because none of us are actually 100% Native American in the classroom or probably anywhere in my college for that sake, besides the students who are currently studying abroad. That's neither here nor there. So with that being said, she said then most of you are probably immigrants. And she said, um, right now I'm going to open the floor for discussion, allow everyone to kind of talk about their immigrant stories if they would like to. She talked about her stories to kind of, you know, get everyone warmed up and in the feeling, you know. If she's talking about her story, then naturally we're going to open up to her. So all these people were telling their stories, telling their immigrant stories, and I'm just sitting there like, I can't relate. Like, I really can't. And I started thinking, and I'm like, Am I an immigrant? Am, am I? Am I an immigrant? Am I? Are African Americans really immigrants? Um, I kept asking myself that all day. So I decided that I wanted to do a video um, about this topic because I honestly don't feel like African Americans are immigrants. So let's just jump right on in the video. Video, video, video. Um, for you to say that African Americans are immigrants you must not know or really understand your history um, so I'm gonna set the record straight Europeans came over to Africa and they discussed things and they saw that the, the way that things were ran and they felt that they could easily you know bamboozle the African people there because the European men brought things that we hadn't seen or things that we didn't really have access to which were things like necklaces knives guns things like that and in return the African tribe men sold off the other tribes that they had enslaved. Um, people act like slavery is something that just happened only in America. That's not true. It's documented that in Africa, Africans had been enslaving other tribes. It's very, very recorded. So what they did was sold those Africans off and in return those Europeans forced us into those ships and that's when the Middle Passage transporting them from one place to another and then when we were brought to America we were told that our hair was like wool it needed to be cut off we shouldn't speak in our native tongues we shouldn't have our names. We should adopt the names that our slave masters had. And not only that, they deemed us as three-fifths of a person. So we were not even a person. So I mean, for someone to sit up here and say that African Americans are immigrants, I feel like that's very disrespectful because no, I'm not saying that other immigrants that came to America didn't face similar dis discrimination. But what I am saying is that today, myself as a person me as Tara I will never completely know exactly who I am because who I was was destroyed my ancestors never got a chance to pass down things that they had learned in Africa other people who are immigrants can still say oh well for my great great grandfather he taught you know his his son and his son taught his son you know things like Spanish and ways to make clothes and things like that we were virtually stripped of those things so, you know, things that they do in Africa, we only know that by things that we see on media or things that we're seeing from Africans, you know, by going over there. But as far as that tradition being passed down, that was taken away from us. It really was taken away from us. So that's why I really truly feel like I am not an immigrant. Other people such as Hispanics, the Dutch, the French, people like that, they still have those traditions that were done centuries ago. Tell me something that you can do that your mama taught you that that was the one in Africa years ago, centuries ago. She can't. Tell me what was your native tongue. Tell me your religion. Tell me some of the dances, some of the rituals that you can do. And you as an African American cannot tell me that. And it's a very coherent reason why you are not, not an immigrant. Things that make people or the things that define the word immigrant is not definition that an immigrant implies does not fit the description of how your people were brought over we were not it says voluntary movement or a person who comes we never came we were always forced and i do not want my people to forget that we are strong we are beautiful but we will no longer be put into that box 
that's just my whole perspective on things. Um, I'm very interested on knowing how you all feel about the topic.